دمر كل ساحر وساحرة اللهم دمر السحرة الحمد لله الولي المتقين حق من عبر وأكرم من سئل والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء السراج المنير أما بعد أحب في الله when the person combines two things that person becomes absolutely evil hasad and hatred jealousy and hatred when they combine the person becomes blind absolutely blind he does things that he thinks is doing good but in fact he's not doing good he's only doing for his own demise a story of a family comes to mind it begins by a family it was husband and wife and they had seven children the youngest one was two years old and the oldest one was 12 Walid and Salah the father passed away and the mother was left by his her seven kids Walid narrates says the problem started when my father passed away after some time my mom started to become ill her stomach paining so much her legs paining so much but what makes her stoned is that she looks at us and thinks oh my kids needs me and she carries on carries on until walid becomes old and salah become old and all the other kids become old but the mother is still suffering back pain stomach problem problem after problem now Walid is going to break, Salah is going to break. They convince mom, mom, let's take you to the hospital. Mom says, no, 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 but she's still suffering. And one day they convinced her, took her to the hospital. When she took, they took her to hospital, she get checked everywhere, nothing. She comes back home and her situation deteriorated. She start becoming slim, but what makes her stoned again is that she makes loads of dua and prays towards Allah and looking at the kids. The kids are orphan. Situation becomes more worse and worse and worse and worse for the mother. The kids are not aware of it apart from the big, the Salah and Walid. One day, the mother could not be able to wake up from the bed. No chance. Her legs dead. She could not be able to do anything. She start crying, crying towards Allah and crying, crying. No chance. And her kids started to lift her to the chair to help her go to the toilet, help her in everything. The good thing was that the kids have already grown up. They're all strong boys. They help her. They took her to the chair. She sits in the chair and she prays. But one thing is that was restricted for her is to make sujood. And she cries every night and she says, I wish I could just make one sujood. But it was restricted for her. For years, this individual was suffering from diseases of every kind of disease. Her leg died, her stomach, her organs, the heart, everywhere. She became very, very slim. And one day, the kids gather and they decide, Mom, it's time for us to sell this house and move from the house. But they took her again to the hospital. To get checked nothing there when she was in the hospital she was fine but when she comes back problem headache and everything in the house they've decided to sell their house and look for a buyer and they ended up finding a buyer but they negotiated with a buyer give us a couple of months for us to move and they move to a different town. When they move to a different town, they stay there for a few months and everything was okay. The mother started to feel better, but her situation is still the same. She can't walk. And the house on the other town was sold. And the person who buy it started demolishing it and started building in a different way. And while he was demolishing it, and while Walid and Salah over there, their mom, she's a bit alright, but her situation is 90% the same. The people who are demolishing the house 
found something in front of the house, in front door, and they called the owner. These are builders. When they clothe, clothe the owner, they show him the owner. And the owner opened it, he saw some wicked stuff in it. And he started looking for the people who used to live in that property. He looked, he used every other method to get to them. And Salah was the first one to be contacted and he was told over the situation. And it was a different town. And Salah went mad. He says, all these years we are suffering and my mom is suffering because of that. And then they went back to the town to go and get. And look, what is it? When they went in there, the owner, the new owner, showed them from a picture of their mom. And their mom name was written so many times in writing magic. And in it, so many dirty stuff. And in it, again, is the magic of writing says, give her disease, destroy her wealth destroy her health make her poor stop any income coming in subhanallah this is an orphan family the person goes to that length to just want to destroy this orphan family where they have no dad is only mom who was standing but allah was with them and after that saleh took the stuff they look for a sheikh and they went to the sheikh the sheikh destroyed and the mother started feeling shooting pain the first day the second day the third day the shooting pain left and she started slowly to start walking slowly start praying and making sujood salah and walid says for years our mom has not prostrated she has not made sujood to allah now she's making sujood this is from Allah because our mom was always making dua for Allah to solve this problem. Because we didn't know what was the problem. We didn't absolutely know it was sihr. Somebody has done sihr to destroy us. Because we have no knowledge about this. Walid and Saleh were very angry. And their situation came back to normal. And they are saying, Wallahi, we don't know who has done it. But Wallahi, who has done it, he has his own portion to be dealt with on the day of judgment day because he has oppressed us and he's hidden. We don't know him. But Allah Rabbul Izzah knows whoever is behind what is what they have done because our mom and us, we were all suffering within the walls of our house. We did absolutely know what to do. But Alhamdulillah, we have a mighty King of Kings who we call and he responds. Ya Ikhwani, this is a situation for so many people. So many people are suffering. I ask Allah to relieve all the Muslim brothers and sisters who are suffering from every kind of oppression. Because Sihr, Sihr is oppression. An individual goes and does Sihr and thinking no one sees him. But Allah knows. He does oppression behind the scene. Ask Allah to relieve any believing men and women out there who is being oppressed through sihr, through jinn possession. This is a story of a family, orphan family, who they've been suffering for so many years. Stay tuned for more stories about sihr and jinn. Abu Yahya from the Rukhat Talk. وآخر دعوانا وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق